What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So I'm here with my mom and uh, we're going to discuss today the San Francisco Lighthouse for the Blind topic of a girl who got criticized for using her phone while crossing the street or while on public transportation saying that she is faking the blindness, you know. So let's read the subject, let's read the article and uh, here's my mom. Hello everybody, my name is Karina and I'm gonna read for you this article. This weekend, um, a visually impaired person using the phone um, got attacked for using their phone because she, somebody thought she was faking being blind, she was faking having a cane. Um, they thought because she couldn't see, she couldn't use her phone. So it's very sad. Um, that a woman was, it says a woman was pictured standing in the street with dark glasses and a white cane checking her phone. The headline read, if you can see what's wrong, just say you can see. You know, they thought she was faking it. It's, it's very sad to see that people um, are so ignorant to what blind people can do. Blind people exactly. can do everything. And the phones nowadays are so adapted to blind people. Um, they talk. What else can they do? You the know, and, and the thing is too, is like, you know, you have magnification so you can zoom. And, you know, the sighted community, you know, has this stereotypical thing that just because you can't see, you know, you do a music instrument, you know, all you do is music, you can't use the phone because everything in, in the sighted community, there's no, uh, th they, people don't know about accessibility features. So they think, oh, you can't see, you can't see the phone, you can't see the computer. And there's just this whole thing of the stereotypical image of the blind and visually impaired, we actually commute in you know, daily transportation, we work, we do jobs, you know, there's blind engineers, you know, there's a lot of different, you know, people who do excellent jobs in the blind community. And, you know, we have to break with that stereotypical, the sighted community has to realize that, you know, we, you know, uh, need to educate the sighted more on, uh, you know, how to you know how to learn about accessibility not just for the blind but for other disabilities as well to stop stereotyping and actually you know read about a disability not just judge immediately yes um, everybody should be aware that there is blind people and visually impaired people which are legally blind people um, unfortunately um, there's not enough information out there that's why we're doing this video um, when using the phone, we do, normally my son here, he uses the phone in public, he does get stared at. I see it more because I can see, um, and he's visually impaired, he can see a little bit on one eye, but I get questions. How can he use his phone? How can he ride a bicycle? How can he be skateboarding? How can he do so many things that visual people can do? Well, he can. He can do everything especially the phone the phones nowadays talk they have CD they have um, other resources if you can see a little bit like him he's visually impaired um, you have enlargement there's so many things a phone has plus they hear the music there they get messages they do everything so please if you see a blind person looking at their phone I know it sounds weird but they are doing things with their phone that blind people can do. They are listening to it. They are looking in large images of whatever it is they're interested in nowadays. So true, exactly. And that's that's one of the things that like, you know, well, we educate, you know, everybody. I think that you guys should spread the word, you know, about, you know, uh, you know, blindness and about other disabilities that you know and you have you know information about because that way you know we, we we can make the world a better place by teaching you know people more about you know disabilities and i feel like if you have any other disability and you know even if it's something stupid even if it's like you know you have an ingrown toenail you know you know what go to the ingrown toenail forum 
and, and, and be part of that community and share the information so if somebody else gets that, you know, ingrown toenail, they know how to deal with it. And, you know, that's what we do in the, you know, end of line community as well. We, you know, we can teach people so, you know, maybe in 20, 30 years when you get older, you know, you, you know, you may, you know, lose sight. And then, oh, I remember that video. I remember these people. Now you go back to those resources and you know what to do when you lose your sight. Yes, and never have fear of confrontation. Never avoid using your phone for all those we have lots of friends at the miami lighthouse for the blind and the florida school for the deaf and blind never have fear of people telling you anything just keep on using it use your phone in public and just feel normal if people uh, laugh or people ask or they're ignorant just teach them tell them come here look show them that's the best way to do it educate people on blindness that's all we have to do so everybody knows and they spread the word and do videos about it like we're doing to help this girl from San Francisco, you know, uh, cope with this that happened to her. This is something that shouldn't be happening nowadays. Oh yes, and I'm pretty sure, you know, it's happened to a lot of people, not just her. I'm, I'm pretty sure that so many people have had, you know, things like this. I, I've had it, you know, on, on, a, on a lower level where people stare at me. But still, you know, we have to find a way to teach people and we have to find, you know, ways to um, post articles and, you know, find ways to uh, to spread the word. You know, Facebook, for example, where we found this article, link in the description, you know, it's a great place to, you know, if something happens to you, put it on there. Like this girl did, she put in an article from the San Francisco Lighthouse, it got on Facebook and, you know, the article blew up. Why? Because it's something that, you know, everybody has you know, had the problem with. So if you encounter something like that, post it, share it, and you know, A, you'll get a lot of support, and B, you know, uh, you'll make a lot of people more conscious about their actions upon, you know, seeing people with disabilities. And share it with us so we can share it with our friends in Florida that are all very active with Christian's channel, which is called Blind Power. Blind Power. And always remember, being blind is not bad, it's just different. You're just different You're if you're blind or visually impaired. There's nothing bad about it. You have new friends, you learn new things, you see life in a different way. Oh yes. That's what blindness is. Exactly. <laughs> well, uh, that's been the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this talk. Um, you know, keep you know sp spreading the word about blindness and other disabilities. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.